I was up really early this morning to start getting the house back in order because I'm really excited about uh, getting into my studio painting. So I've got to tackle my studio, which is a bit of a mess. Uh, it was all kind of rearranged to handle all of our sales yesterday. Uh, so as soon as I get it back into a functioning artist studio, I can get to work on another painting. I'm, uh, I had a really good time at the open house, but I'm really glad it's over. <music> Well, that didn't take me too long. The uh, studio's sort of back in condition to paint. And I'm really excited to get working on this latest piece. So the piece you can see behind me is one that I'd started, I think it was before the Koyman show or before the Chinese Cultural Center show. I don't know, I've kind of lost track. I've had three solo shows in a period of three months. So I'm really looking forward to the next four months of just being in the studio painting and no commitments for shows. So I'm going to get started on this piece and uh, we'll do a little time lapse of it. Okay, well, I'm ready to start painting now. Um, as always, I've started on a canvas that I've toned with the red fluid acrylic. And once the fluid acrylic is dry, then I've blocked in my composition uh, using a black and purple fluid acrylic. And that just gives me the the basic structure of the painting um, and now I'm ready to start painting in oils but before I do that I've put a thin coating of the water soluble linseed oil on the canvas so this is it here um, and people ask me why I do that the main reason is in traditional oils you use turpentine to kind of thin your paint down and paint like a wash so you can cover a lot of the canvas um, with the oil paint I'm using the water soluble oils so we don't use turpentine with that I mean it defeats the whole purpose of using the water solubles and even though they're water soluble that is that they can be cleaned with soap and water they're not meant to be thinned with water so if you just paint them on the canvas which is dry it's like painting in dry brush um, and I don't like that uh, so by putting a thin coating of the oil medium on the canvas that allows the paints to kind of slide on and glide on really easily um, and I just prefer the feel of that. Now I've squeezed out my colors and kind of mixed my palette uh, and these are the colors that I'm going to use for the foliage, the foreground and kind of midground foliage and as usual I'm going to block in my foreground foliage first then my midground foliage and then I'll come back in and paint the sky. So let's go to the time lapse now to see me actually do that. So I've got the uh, foliage blocked in and you can see I do that actually rather quickly. It's one of those uh, push and pull. You want to do it kind of fast with kind of loose gestural brush strokes, but you also want to take care that the, the brush strokes are, are good brush strokes and they're suggestive of foliage and creating pathways of color. Um, so that actually went really quick. That took me about half an hour, maybe 35 minutes uh, to paint that area. But now I'm going to slow it down. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to just rough in the sun area so I can judge my lightest light and that kind of warmest area of the sun. And then once I finish the sun, I'm going to paint the sky. But when I move to paint the sky, I'll slow it down. Um, and I'm going to be creating pathways of light colors that are gradually going from cooler and darker to lighter and warmer as they get close to the sun. So we'll uh, zoom in a little bit on the sun, then we'll back off again for me to paint the sky.
Well, I think I'm going to call it a day. That's been actually a pretty good day of painting and i um, happy how this is coming together. Tomorrow when I get the sky blocked in and the best the rest of the background, it'll really start to take shape and then I can start uh, putting the birch trees in. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, as always, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You share it with your friends who you think would like this and I welcome your comments and questions. I'm Tim Packer and thank you for your time.